time. We're here. It's time. We're getting surgery done. I'm pretending to be really happy. <laughs> this is where I'm at now. <laughs> We're getting started. So it is six right now. I should be having my surgery at seven, they said. Um, and I'm supposedly the first one. Um, so we'll see how that goes. update and it is currently Wednesday. I honestly have not been feeling too hot. This morning I threw up. I have a really bad headache right now. I think I threw up because I didn't I didn't eat anything with my medications. Pain has been going down. I tried to I was trying to like avoid taking the pain medication at all because I get horrible like bloating and everything like that but I really needed it now. I'm trying to like stop taking it. But right now I feel like now I need pain medication for my head. <laughs> so um, I will update later throughout the week. So I feel like I should update since the last update where I was basically saying that it wasn't feeling good at all. My head was throbbing so much. I don't even know how I was still talking because like hearing other people talk and myself talk and just like looking at a screen was hurting so bad and like it's crazy because all day yesterday I woke up like twice like in the day and the other times I was just sleeping and like when I woke up I was just like I would be awake for like 30 minutes and then I go back to sleep this morning I stopped taking pill medication yesterday I wanted to as well but I, my head was throbbing so hard so I took it for that. It didn't really work. And it was really just because that I needed to throw up. So I threw up twice. Um, yeah, so I got a decaf coffee today. I am trying to take my antibiotics, making sure I eat on a fuller stomach. Basically like making sure I have food with it. Another thing I want to mention is today, one of the nurses called to check in on me and I let them know that like I was having these side effects and they're like, okay, well, if, after you take today's pill, like let us know how it's making you feel. If not, we can um, we can recommend anti vomit. Oh my god, anti nausea pills. But um, I did take it. I ate a little something. I ate kind of like toast with jam. I still feel like I have like a really sensitive stomach. I was able to go to the raft the bathroom today so that's pretty good i did a lot more walking today as so today's thursday i did a lot more walking today but i haven't like really it's crazy i was like full on exercising but before all of this the nurse did say that sometimes what happens is you can get these reactions so i wasn't sure if it was the pills or what two days before this sorry the day before yesterday when i got so so sick i just i felt horrible you guys the whole day today i have like light like like throbbing for head but like very mild like super mild but before that i was like you know eating and i left the house and everything to go eat with my mom and my family so i'm just like so confused but um yeah she did say that that can sometimes happen after like feeling like you have to throw up and stuff after oh my gosh after anesthesia so yeah last time i had like a severe dry throat and this time Instead of putting a tube in me, they put like a balloon is what I was told. I still had a dry throat, but I took something and it went away after the first day. So there you go. I don't know if that was informational at all. I am doing obviously a lot better as far as how I'm healing. Um, 
still really tired. Like, I still have to be in bed. The screen kind of hurts my head. I don't know if, like, having surgeries like that back to back. I'm sure it depends on everyone, but if that was the healthiest for me, just because I didn't realize how sensitive. It made me feel sorry for all the girls that have, like, sensitive stomachs. Like, is this how they always feel? Like, they eat something and then they feel like throwing up and they get, like, really bloated. <sighs> anyway, I don't know. Um... But yeah, I will check in with you guys a little bit later. I almost forgot to say really quickly. So yesterday was the first day that I could shower. So I showered in the morning. So funny, it was right before I got sick or was feeling sick. Um, And for sure without this bra on, okay, I don't know if I already said this actually, like my implants feel so way much more comfortable. It's like the expanders were not that bad. Like they were bad, but they were not that bad. Like max, it only ever got to like level four of pain, but normally it was like a two. And this I would say is like a one. Like not that it's, like it's still kind of painful cause like obviously, but as far as like how it feels in here, not like the cut and whatever. I don't even know what I'm trying to say is like, <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say, but um, so much more comfortable. Um, but I was gonna say, getting in the shower and i feel like the expanders sorry the expanders are definitely like way heavier than an implant right like i don't know and maybe at first like they're super firm and then they drop or whatever i don't know i'm sure they're science i don't know but um like literally in the shower i'm like wow these literally feel like i have two full balloons like filled with water attached to me as I'm showering. Like they feel heavy, like without my bra. I don't know how long I'm gonna have it on for. I'm gonna see my doctor on Tuesday and it's Thursday. Yeah, I'm gonna see my doctor really soon and um, we'll discuss all of that. And in a month from now, we like I have to go back to work, but also we had been planning to move out of our apartments, but right now I'm not sure if that's going to happen. And if it does, we'll do a moving vlog, but if it doesn't, it's really needed. I re we really need to move, which I feel like I can get into like another time, but if we don't, um, I don't know. But next week I, after Tuesday, I should be home. Tuesday would be my, my post-op appointment. Um, but yeah. If you guys saw the last clip that I filmed, I was saying that I am should be leaving in like four days to go back home. And then shortly after, I have to figure all of that out, but basically I will be back at work or I should be back at work. So we did do a little bit of shopping and I found some stuff, but we went shopping right before I had my surgery and that was when my sister and my mom were here and my sister and my mom like live in two separate places and so do we. So when we split off, like they took a few things and I took a few, sorry, they took a few things. That was like Sunday and then Monday I had my surgery. So... I was like knocked out from Monday, Tuesday, and even like Wednesday, but they'd already been, they had left by Tuesday morning. What I'm trying to say is, um, I don't know who took the clothes that I bought. So of course now I don't, uh, it's like things are still in like their package and I don't know kind of what to wear because all of my clothes are just like low cut V and if you've had the surgery, you would know that you have to continue wearing this bra. So I'm trying to figure out what I could wear in my sister's closet. Not only like what could I wear, but what fits me because right now I'm definitely like a full small, maybe a, like a, a, a small medium. Well, that's like me bloated, right? <laughs> me a few weeks ago was that. But right, right now um, with these like new, it's the weirdest thing. Cause like, I feel like they're not that big. Then I see them sometimes throughout the day and I'm like, actually they are. And then other times I'm like, they're kind of not. It's just, it's weird. Like I kind of understand why people that have surgeries are like, oh no, I want to go bigger. Because ultimately like my goal wasn't ever to be like bigger. It was really just to look like my size, but better. And as even as possible, like that was my biggest thing. I'm not going to go bigger or anything like that. It's, it's, I could understand why people end up being like going back to the doctor and they're like no this time around i want to be a triple d instead of a double d or whatever i'm at my sister's closet and i'm gonna see what 
I can find that will fit me because a lot of this will not fit me right now. Excuse me because I'm still in my pajamas, but like this is playing tricks on me because a shirt like this would normally fit me pretty like loose and obviously like I haven't worn normal clothes because of my surgery um, and it's I, I don't know we're on like day five like beginning of day five but this is like playing tricks on me because it's like and like not in a way that I hate it or anything just like this is the weirdest thing like always seeing yourself like as a small and all of a sudden like you have these like it's the weirdest thing but I think that this will do because it does cover my bra the arms definitely not exactly what I would say like fits exactly to the T but I feel like this will do at least just until I get going so I'm gonna actually go show it to her so I'm gonna go tell her I guess we'll see her reaction let me see she actually just she actually just did her hair so I'm sure she'll be okay with being on camera she's still outside but like I also want to mention it's like I swear to it's like almost 100 degrees the other day it was a hundred and right now it is let me look it up and I don't feel like getting ready today it's 93 degrees outside considering how sweaty I get I just feel bad because I've been really trying to look for shirts that are sleeveless so that basically like I can't sweat on these arms but like I feel like I will sweat in this arm so uh, I might not wear this actually it's like I don't want to ruin her clothes either and I do have this shirt that I was wearing like this shirt I, you can't even see I've worn it before but like I got all of these stains um, from the hospital so I didn't get a chance to wash it like maybe I should still wash it I don't know I will catch up with you guys in a second so I quickly wanted to kind of catch us all up as far as how I am looking, how I'm feeling. There's so many things that's kind of going on behind the scenes. The things that you have to deal with coming out of cancer, like moving and just like, honestly being broke, I would say, even though I've had a lot of help during this, which I'm super appreciative, but you know, there's just some things that like, you don't really have money for or whatever. So I'm looking back at it as I'm editing and I feel like I talked about this, but I kind of want to touch on it a little bit more because I think it's so important to talk about your experience. When I was looking for other ladies on YouTube that posted their story, there was this one lady called Kristen Springer, I think. I'll try to put her in here. As she was going through her cancer treatment at the end, like right at the end after she had had, I think, her reconstruction or at least some of her reconstruction, her job ended up firing her. Luckily, it just came out within the right time. But it is crazy because that's, that's another reality. Not everyone everyone here is rich getting sick you know what I'm saying and not everyone has the best job getting sick and with the best insurance and with the most secure job it's so important to open a conversation because I'm sure like if this is my journey I'm sure it's somebody else's journey not really all like it is on Instagram and I know that not all of you think it's this way but we don't talk about it enough and Instagram you know you're bald and you're going through cancer and then afterwards you're fine and you're thriving no that's like not the end of I really want to target AYA everyone that deals with cancer but AYA specifically because this is where I'm at and I feel like there wasn't much of a voice and like there are some people that get cancer at like 21 and in their 20s early 20s like me not everyone gets lucky where all of their debt is cleared out even then like there's so much that I have to pay for making this journey going to a different city and dealing with cancer here in, in Houston versus where I live which is three hours away there's so much money that goes into this that is not really talked about and then after you've been released you have to go deal with that like the reality of like I spent over like $300, $400 on gas driving back and forth and I don't have any savings and what about the eating and what about the Airbnbs that I stayed at? What about those things, those savings that you had from before? So I feel like that's super important to talk about. Talk about. I was kind of talking about like YouTube and everything like that as far as the direction that I want to go in. I really want to be a space where I can talk more about this specific subject as far as like cancer and everything and um, I will have videos where I will still talk about it like I feel like once a month or a couple times every two weeks or uh, so every two months and just like my because this will obviously always be a part of my life I also need to grow and expand and try other things if you have not checked out page Reviver on Instagram you really should especially if you're going through this journey if you need some help she had a mastectomy at 24 and she's literally thriving but this is essentially what I want to do I want to mix and match my personal life with some mastectomy tips obviously not exactly like how she did or sorry 
mastectomy slash cancer things. Not exactly like how she did, but I do like how she's doing it. So my own take on that. She posts so many helpful things that I have learned that have helped me so, so much. So I really recommend that you guys check her out. She's super influential and she always has like little pep talks and just is so real on Instagram and talks about her journey through these things. The last couple videos that I've released, they're all kind of really rushed. Just like not my favorite to film. But at the same time, like obviously I've just, I've been going through a lot. So it makes sense that like I wasn't putting my best foot forward as far as like content and quality. And you know, the routine thing that we've already touched upon. But I did want to show you how I am looking. Also, I just want to mention, sorry about the background. Um, we came back from the hospital not that long ago and um, I'm leaving in like three days. There's kind of stuff everywhere, stuff that I took to the hospital and stuff that I, was, I took to the... A hotel and stuff that we're just kind of like okay this needs to be washed apologize i'm still wearing my pajamas so i apologize for how funny that looks this time around i would say i had bloating but it kind of went down a little bit like at first i was like okay it hasn't really gone down but yes it has a little bit faster than the first one or maybe i just gotten like used to it a little bit faster but i don't know if you can tell i've had some bloating i we just put new strips because it is so uncomfortable without these strips. They look so good, right? Like, don't they look good? They do look good. Um, and I'm gonna go see my doctor very, very soon. Yeah, they look pretty good. And yeah, this is me on the side. Also from where the drains were at, um, this is kind of going away slowly. Um, but yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, I think this is incredible um, as far as like, my recovery and everything like that. I think that they're looking incredible and I just forget like the difference in my body like as far as how it was looking before because in my head I keep telling you like I'm like this is like the same size right? No it is not. It does not feel the same. Like I touch the biggest difference is like they put a mini one here right? I don't know the exact like the exact terminology but they put it towards the top which is what they told me that they were going to do. It feels like I'm permanently wearing a bra and I could take it out off at whatever point and it'll go back to its normal size, like in shape, which is more of a teardrop. But that is not happening. I am not trans, like it, I, I take it off and it's, they're still just the exact round shape. In addition, they feel like when I take off the bra, they definitely feel a little heavier. I wanted to show you guys what I've been looking like. If you guys are curious, I'm very, very happy with the results. That was something that like now thinking back about it, now that I have time to process this a little bit more, it was something that I was so afraid that they would look so like weird, but they're not. They're looking pretty great. The more that you expand and you're trying to see the difference and it's hard for you to process it like because it really is like it's hard for you to tell like, is it really bigger? Is that too big? Or am I at like a triple D now and I just like, I can't see it. Cause it's weird when you take off your clothes and you're just like seeing yourself in the mirror. But I would say definitely when you wear normal clothes, you can tell the difference. So I was also telling my sister that like when I saw this, like me and my normal size, like I'd be able to fit into this, like no problem, maybe even a little looser. Definitely not the case. It's my, my eyes are still, thinking obviously because they're new my eyes are still thinking like this is gonna fit me big i don't i forget that i have these yeah that's what i'm looking like that's how i'm healing i feel like i from wednesday to thursday so wednesday was the day that i was throwing up thursday was yesterday i did a total 180 i was sleeping in bed all day i was throwing up and then thursday i was finally spending most of my day out of the bed um, yeah, I didn't really go to bed until I fell asleep. Recovery has been a little rough, but we're actually doing really good. And now I'm gonna go find, this is my biggest thing, you guys, like natural deodorants do not work for me. So I'm trying to find a, like little shirts that are sleeveless cause it is a hundred degrees here. I have horrible sweats and I don't really have a lot of summer clothes. This is TMI, <laughs> no one cares. Um, I don't really have that many summer clothes and whatever so i'm just trying to see if i could find pieces at tj maxx or uh, i think when i get back home because i will be moving hopefully we're gonna be thrifting and finding stuff at the goodwill like mirrors and just like pieces because my sister's really good at that so i feel like i've talked enough hopefully i will catch up with you guys oh you know what one more thing that i was gonna say before i leave there's a couple places that i want to hit up before i leave this is like what i wanted to do like in houston my sister kind of lives outside so 
Um, but these are things like I would do if like I hadn't had treatment or whatever if I was just visiting Houston like go to H H Mart and go to Chinatown and that's what I really wanted to do So now I only have like like a weekend almost to do those things. So um, Yeah, I think I'm gonna film and vlog some of that So if you guys like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe If you want to see more content from me if you like my style or anything like that I definitely plan to do more fashion videos and figuring out life as this has happened and just like dealing with a past cancer diagnosis now I can say it's in the past and just like moving forward. So, um, in life. <laughs> anyway, I will see you guys super duper soon. Um, talk to you guys really, really soon actually.